the other people mindset. That's what we talked about our first week of school, how other people matter and how important that is. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the key components to showing other people matter and our other people mindset. We're talking about being present. Now this quote says nothing is more precious than being in the present moment, fully alive and fully aware. I'm gonna pause so we can think about it. I'm gonna say it again. Nothing is more precious than being in the present moment, fully alive, fully aware. This quote is said by Thich Nhat Hanh, a Vietnamese monk who teaches mindfulness. So here is a video that we can watch all about being present. Fly with Abel and Phi. Mindfulness is being present in the present moment. What does being present really mean? Being present means listening to the sound of the ocean waves. Being present means feeling the wind through the air. Being present means feeling the soft touch of a flower. Being present is being nice to your friends. Being present is patiently waiting for your turn in the line. Being present is listening carefully to what others are saying. Being present means helping others when you notice they need help. Being present is focusing on your classwork and not on when your recess break will be. Being present is enjoying every experience as an opportunity to learn. Being present means realizing that it's okay to make mistakes. Being present is being thankful for your family and friends. Being present is allowing yourself to feel your breath. Being present is being still and letting yourself feel silence. So we're talking about mindfulness and being present. And we keep saying being present, but that doesn't mean like being a present or getting presents. It's not like a present that you get on your birthday or at Christmas time. Present means being available, being mindful. And let's talk about some times that being present can be helpful to you and to other people. So if you're having a conversation with someone and you're looking at each other and you're talking to each other, if you're telling me all about your dog and you're really excited about your dog and you say, I love my dog, he's the best dog ever, we just got him, he's a really cute little puppy, and I say, Wow, guess what? Look at that flower over there. That's a great flower. Does that make you feel like you're being heard? Does that make you feel like the other person is present in that conversation? 
What about if you tell me about your dog and you're going, I love my dog. It's a great dog. I just got him. He's a new puppy. And I say, oh, wow, puppies are so cute. What kind of puppy is he? And you say, oh, he's, he's a Boston Terrier and he's really small and he makes a really funny noise when he breathes. And I say, oh my gosh, can you make that noise and tell me what that noise sounds like? And you go, <laughs> and we're having a conversation. Do you feel heard? Do you feel like I'm being present? What about if you're at dinner and you're sitting at the table and you're eating food and in your head, you're going, oh, I can't wait to play that video game later. Or, I really want to get up from the table or I'm, so, I'm just so bored and oh my gosh, these grown-ups just keep talking about taxes and I don't even know what that is and it's so frustrating. Hmm. How can being mindful and present help you during that kind of, oh, I'm bored feeling? Well, if you're being mindful, one of my favorite mindfulness practices is when I'm eating and I take a bite of food and I can think about the food and say in my head, this food has a soft texture and it is a little bit salty, a little bit savory, a little bit warm. If I put it on the front of my tongue, I can feel it. I can move it in my mouth and chew it. That's being mindful about the flavors and the textures and the feeling of the food in your mouth. And you'll notice that those anxieties of What's coming next? What am I going to do? Where's my video game? Who am I going to talk to? These grown-ups are boring. They kind of melt away. You're not focused on what's going to happen or what already has happened. You're focusing on what's happening right now. You're being present for yourself. The way that in the other example, you were being present in a conversation with somebody else. So throughout this week, you can really practice mindfulness and being present. You can practice with your grown-ups at home. You can practice with other kids your age. You can practice with your teachers. So if you find yourself not being present, if you find your brain moving too quickly or thinking about something that used to have have happened and and you just are feeling that feeling inside that I like to call anxiety where everything goes ah. you can take a big breath and bring your attention to the moment and notice I can see the brown table and I can see the blue shirt and I can see the red hat and I can hear the quiet air conditioner and I can hear my friend reading to themselves under their breath and I can smell breakfast cooking and I can taste what I had for dinner last night. <laughs> or maybe your toothpaste if it's the early morning and you just brushed your teeth. You bring your focus to the world around you to bring yourself back into being present. <laughs>